just a moment of time, Lord God, to say we appreciate how you called us out of darkness. We appreciate, Lord God, how you haven't left us on our own. We appreciate, Lord God, how you are with us. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us. We appreciate, Lord God, how you soothe our minds, Lord God. We appreciate, Lord God, how you mend our broken hearts, Lord God. We appreciate you, Lord, how you keep on keeping us safe and sound from every hurt, harm, and danger, seen and unseen. We want to just say we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over every vain and foolish imagination, casting it down, bringing our every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, having a readiness to avenge all disobedience once obedience has been settled in us, Lord God. And we want to thank you, Lord God. We want to thank you, Lord God, that you've already set our minds and our hearts to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to us this day. And for this, we give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I believe that God has sent me today just to encourage and remind that let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat thereof. Psalms 45 and 1 says, My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. It goes on to say, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 103 and 4 says, whom the redeemed, I'm sorry, Psalms 103 and 4 says, he has redeemed our lives from destruction. Psalms 107 and 2 says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Galatians 3.13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Hallelujah. I can tell already this from what Deacon Wilson had said this morning that God has been talking to him about things to think on. Well, God has been talking to me to say, remind the people that you have a tongue and you have a mouth, that you are redeemed, and sometimes the redeemed has to say something. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. God said just to encourage you and remind you that we have been redeemed from the cares, from the concerns, and from the fear of the virus. Therefore, as the redeemed, when the newscasters, which, let me take a little side trip here, <laughs> let God say just remind the people that the newscasters and the reporters and the so-called experts get paid to do a job. And their job is to present the facts to the people. But our job as the redeemed of the Lord is to present the truth not only to the people, but first of all, to 
ourselves. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalms 91 and 2 says, We, the redeemed of the Lord, will say of the Lord, He is our refuge. He is our fortress. He is our God. And in Him will we trust. We're not going to trust in what the experts say. So they say what they get paid to say. We're not going to trust in what the scientists say, though they are reporting just what they see in the natural. We're going to trust in the supernatural power of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says in the numbers they keep they tell us, Lord, now that there's a new strain, a new, a new, new, new form, and it's attacking our young. But he said, remind the people that a thousand shall fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come nigh us nor our children. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, tell your children, take your children aside. Let them talk to you. Sometimes they hear what's going on. And it's all right, he says, for the redeemed of the Lord to address the concerns of the little ones. Pray with the little ones. Let the little ones know what Psalms 41 and 11 and 12 says. He has given his angels charge over us and our little ones to keep us in all our ways. You see, the Lord said the angels will bear us up in their hand, lest we dash our foot against the stone. God said it's all right for the redeemed to take your child and pray. Pray with the child, not just over the child. It's okay to tell the child, the little one, what thus said the Lord. It's okay to tell the child that he or she is the very apple of God's eye. It's okay to tell the little ones, tell the little ones that God watches over you like a mother hen. And they may not understand that, so you might have to explain it. But God watches over them like a mother hen watches over her chicks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said sometimes, I mean, if we're, we're real, sometimes the reports of what's going on in the world, as well as what's going on in our individual lives, can be somewhat overwhelming. But God, but God, being ever so wise, being ever so kind, being ever so loving, gave us, he says, to remind the redeemed that he gave us an overcoming tool, our lips. Hallelujah. He said, let the redeemed say so. Hallelujah. We don't have to just sit and listen to the facts. We don't have to just accept what the facts have to say. He said, open up our mouths because he knows what we've been taught here and say what, say what he says. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said to remind us that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Not the testimony of the newscaster. Not the testimony of the scientific expert, but the words of the believer, the redeemer. Hallelujah, because the redeemer has been washed in, in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. 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 He says, when there are reports of wars and ruins of wars, and there are now. When there are reports of or concerns about the world is now concerned about, are we going to get the Americans out? Are we going to get all of them out safe? Are we going to get the Americans 
but those who supported the Americans out safe. He said, and that's going on now, today, famines, when we hear about famines, that's going on today. Pestilences, that's going on today. And extreme weather all over the nation. He said, remind the people, I've already told you, my redeemed, that these things are going to take place. Hallelujah. I've even spoken to you out of the mouth of your pastor to say, folks, it ain't getting no better. Hallelujah. So don't be dismayed. Hallelujah. Don't just throw up your hands and say, oh my God, what's going on? What's going to happen next? It doesn't matter. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say something. Isaiah 41 and 10. If you could read that for me, please. Isaiah 41 and 10. He said, this is something that the redeemed can say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Fear thou not. For I, the Lord, your God, your God, I am with you. Be not dismayed. Don't be dismayed. Don't, 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 don't get it twisted. Don't get all confused and, and perplexed like you don't know what's going on. For I am thy God. For I am thy God. I've already told you that this is going to happen before the coming of the Son of Man. I already told you what to look for in the final days. Hallelujah. I will strengthen thee. I will strengthen you. Yeah. I will help thee. I am helping you even now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hallelujah. The right hand, that's right. The right hand of his righteousness. So that's okay. If you're thinking, oh my goodness, I got caught up for a minute or two. Oh my Lord, I've been paying too much attention to what they say and what the scientists say and what the experts say. It's okay. It's all right. I heard someone use a term that I'm going to use today. It just kind of fell into a ditch. We're going to help you get out of the ditch. We're not going to condemn you. Just repent. Just repent. Get up. And start your journey. Not back at the beginning, but just pick up where you left off. That's how good our God is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just begin to say, what the redeemed of the Lord is instructed to say. Hallelujah. When there are reports of nation's leaders being at odds with one another, that's today, not yesterday, not in the future, it's today, it's happening today, right now, today. When the, the leaders are openly, openly, criticizing one another yesterday, measuring one another by their standards yesterday. Rather, God said to remind the redeemed, rather than join in and pass your opinion and your natural idea, he said, let the redeemed of the Lord say something. Not just say something to the person, but say something to yourself and then say it to the person. Once it's been satisfied in you, then you can give it out with great power and with great conviction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Timothy 2, 1 and 2. Hallelujah. This is what the redeemed, one of the things, just one of the things that the redeemed of the Lord can say. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. All mankind. Two. For kings. Presidents. And for all that are in authority. Governors, mayors, whatever you want to call all people in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life 
in all godliness yeah. and honesty. Yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. God is so good. God is just so good. He says, no God, don't be, don't be greatly concerned about what they're doing. Yeah. Don't be greatly concerned about what they're saying. God said they are like dust. Here today and gone tomorrow, and the place will remember them no more. But God Almighty is from everlasting to everlasting to all generations. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When there seems to be, God said, remind his redeemed. When there seems to be lingering sicknesses. Let the redeemed of the Lord say something. Some of the things the redeemed of the Lord can say, with Psalms 103 and 3, he has healed us Amen. of all our diseases. Yes. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5 says he was wounded in Jesus for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was a but upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. What First Peter 1, 2 and 24 says, He, Jesus, bore our sins in his own body on the tree, and that we, being dead to sin, mm -hmm. alive unto righteousness, and by his stripes we are healed. God said what we, the redeemed, need to say to the sickness is I have a right to be healed. I have a right to be whole. I have a right to see myself wonderfully and fearfully made in the image of God. I don't see any sickness in God. I have a right to see myself high and lifted up above every situation and every circumstances in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. I don't see any sickness in Jesus. Even when Jesus walked the earth as a natural man, there was no sickness. I don't see where any sickness took him over. In fact, it says everywhere he went, he went doing good, and he went healing the sick and raising the dead. I see the Bible tells me that he caused the blind eyes to see. He caused the lame to walk. He gave sons back to their daughters, their, their mothers. This God, this God has not changed. He is a same man, same God as he was then. All we have to do is let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, remind the people. My redeemed, when you prayed, and it seems like the answer is nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be sat down, God said, let the redeemed of the Lord say something. Let the redeemed of the Lord, just a few, to say, my God is not a man that he should die, uh -huh. nor is he the son of a man that he should repent. But whatever he has said in his word, he can do it. Amen. And in fact, Glory it is already done. Yeah. Hallelujah. All we have to do, the redeemed, is just watch. Stand still sometime and watch, watch the process that God takes to bring men and women to the end of themselves. Hallelujah. Sometimes, and in the standing, let the redeemed continually say, let the Lord be magnified. Let the Lord be magnified. Let the Lord be magnified. You see, God said to remind you that whatever the prayer is that you pray, can nobody bring it to pass but him. But God. But God. He said, just take a moment, the redeemed of the Lord, just take a moment and look back how your reasoning couldn't do it, how your much 
speaking couldn't do it. How you are deciding you were going to do this and you weren't going to do that. It didn't change a thing. And in some instances, it even got worse. He said, that's because the redeemed need to stay in the redeemed place. Let the God of all creation, the God who created all things, let the God be magnified. Let the God's process work. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm about to wind up. It's a day was just a sweet, you know, one of those moments when God just says, sit down. I want you to just listen to me for a little bit. I just wanted you to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. Hallelujah. One of those moments, and they're so sweet, you know, when he just reminds us, after all, I'm God. I am God. He says to remind you today, the redeemed that is, that he is the truth and the truth shall prevail. He says remind you today that life and death lie in the power of your, the redeemed tongue. Amen. He says and that way, our way of speaking has to be different from the world, wow. from the world's experts. Wow. The world's experts can only present facts. And all of us know, all of us adults know, that facts, in a, say in a courtroom, an attorney can present facts that seem like truth. But then another attorney can turn around and make that seem like truth. But guess what? God is the truth. Hallelujah. He is the truth. He is the truth. He is the truth. God sent me to just remind the redeemed that even though we have been redeemed from the curse of the law, it is we are being charged and held accountable to speak something. God has given us authority that amazes me. For after all, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and all they that dwell therein. But God decided that he loved his mankind so much. He loved his redeemed so much and he trusted his redeemed so much. He says, I'm going to give you authority in the earth realm. Wow. And whatsoever you buy, whatsoever you lose, it's going to be bound and it's going to be loose. Whatsoever you say, Proverbs said, you're going to eat thereof. So he said, remind the redeemed. Sometimes you don't need to say everything that you're thinking. Just take a moment in time. Hallelujah. Collect yourself. Hallelujah. Allow the Holy Spirit to fill our mouths with good things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. He said to remind the people that when we say what he says, we activate his will in the earth realm. Hallelujah. That amazes me. Even though the earth is the Lord's, he left us responsible to say what the Lord says for us to say. Simple truth. Simple truth. He says to remind the people that we're spending a lot of time in prayer. And that's a good thing. We go in, because we've been taught, we enter into his gates with thanksgiving. We enter into his courts with praise. Then we make our petitions known. While we're in the throne room, 
We know without a shadow of a doubt that his answers are yes and amen. He said, but be mindful that when you leave the throne room, be mindful that you don't start talking that same talk. That you don't start that you don't continue to complain about the same problem. Be mindful that you no longer feel sorry about the same problem. Know, know with a certainty. Know with a certainty. God says when we murmur and complain that we tie his hand. That's another amazing thing. We entered in can you imagine? We went into the full presence of the Lord. And God said, don't feel bad about it. Because he's already told us, you're going to be tempted with these things. So don't feel bad about it. Just arm yourself. Just know and be mindful that these things, God said in Isaiah, these things will surely gather together against you. But they shall not prosper. Mm -hmm. You'd say, what things are you talking about? Things like murmuring, complaining, feeling sorry, woe is me. What is, what is, what is that? How did this happen? When is this going to be over? Just God said to just remind his people, the redeemed, to say so. Say what the Lord says. Yes, say what Hallelujah. God. Say what God has for you to say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We're going to bring the children in because our children go back to school Monday. And we're going to pray for our children. In the name of Jesus. And we're not going to say hallelujah after this prayer. What the world says. Or what the newscasters have to say. We're going to say what the glory of the Lord tells us to say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. In the meantime, while we're waiting for the children to come. If there's any in our midst that don't know this Savior that we've been talking about today, now is the time to get to know this Savior. It's not hard. It's very easy. All you have to do is to believe that he did what God says he did. That's all. And accept him, and then you're saved. So if there's any in our midst who want to be saved, hallelujah.